All right, this is going to be a pretty quick video. Just showing my little um, Palomar 90A converted to a single 12-pin uh, tube tube tester. Uh, it tests, you know, the 12-pin 6LF6 and family. There are a bunch of different variants for the um, 6LF6, like 6LX6. 6KD6 and KN6 and a few more. Then the 8950s to 12 volt version. And on this, I got a uh, separate transformer for the filaments. Um, and it was a, originally this 98 was a two tuber. And I converted it over to a one tuber. And you got the um, six volt socket in the back that's open there and I got a 12 volt socket and I got an M2057 which is the heavy duty big boy version of the um, 8950 uh, 12 volt tube or you know 6 volt 6 LF6 tube M2057 is the big fat one I guess you can see over here too that that's um, M2057 made by GE and Mako um, sold them and then that's the size of a um, let's go here size of a 6LF6 or 8950 and you can see the difference in the sizes you know it's a more powerful tube and some of the other family of the um, 6L6 6LF6 tubes I'm going to test in this tube test but anyway I got a hot one in there and uh, just wanted to show it uh, you know one tuber driven with the uh, lowly tram Titan 4 doing about one watt swinging about 10 you know into this uh, little one tube tester with the M2057 and uh, I guess all said and done let's key it down it should be all tuned up on the 200 watt scale and let's put it on average first and uh, one watt in dead kin a little over 10 on average Hello. Audio. Talking about 90, 95. <whistles> Whistling at 120. Again, that's 1 watt in, uh, 10 watts uh, modulation going into it. Audio. That makes a nice little uh, swinging machine, don't it? 1 2, 1 M2057, a hot one. And then last, we're going to put it on peak. Little one tube. We got a stiff power supply in it. You know, it's made for two tubes. And uh, we only run in one tube and then the separate filament. So all that power is, and with new caps, upgraded caps in it, going to that one tube. Audio. 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 Talking about 160. Audio on peak. And whistling to about 150. I might could tweak that up a little bit more if I wanted to play with it. But anyway, that's going to be it. This quick demo of my little um, one tube tester with a big bad uh, M2057 um, tube in it. Some people say the M stood for Mako and some others say it was made for the military. But anyway, that's a big bag tube. Uh, those are hard to find and in good shape and good out. Um, with a good output like this one, they're probably running 7500 bucks a tube. Alright, that's it for this one. Bye.